got on my sexy dress. You know what's coming next. I know you got my text. I want you between my legs. Showing up for you. And I put it on. What's up, you guys? I'm back with another YouTube video, and today I really didn't want to do um, a video. I really didn't want to do because this journey has been long, very long. Like I've been in a hospital since the, today's the July the 12th. I literally went to a doctor visit on the 7th, and ended up in the hospital and <clears throat> from the 7th to the 12th I've been here and I I think I've been on almost every baby floor there is I done been to ICU um, and, and all of the above but I'm, I'm getting detail probably when I get home um, um and hopefully today is my last day, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, like I remember, like with my son, it was like I remember like having a C-section with my son. Like C-sections are nothing to play with. They hurt. They hurt very bad. But the more you walk, like the better it feels. Like you know, you're able to be mobile. Like. I started off like bent over, like I couldn't like stand up straight and I still can't like all the way stand up straight cause it still hurts and burns like the scar or whatever. Um, and it's been, oh, nine, 10, 10, been like four days since uh, my surgery. So hopefully I get a little bit more healed. Um, Oh, but we not gonna do this for a long time. Ain't no more kids for a long, long, long time. Cause I was not prepared. Mm -mm. And then my, she came out, um, Jenny came out 38 weeks and some change. She came out 36 weeks and five days. So, yeah, I'm, I'm having little babies and stuff, so I just kind of want to just give my body time to, to, you know, and, and hopefully maybe next time when I do decide to have a baby or if I um want to later on, then I could be prepared to try my best to carry my baby long term because one thing about it, I carry short term and I carry, um, small babies. That's what I'm trying to say. I carry small babies. Um, when she was born, she came out four pounds. She was four pounds, but she didn't need anything. She didn't need a respirator. She didn't need nothing. Like, uh, the NICU nurses were in the room like they did introduce themselves and let me know like hey you know we're here just in case you know because nobody you really you they, they you don't know what you're expecting you know you having a early cesarean she was like um two days just two days before preterm so you really don't know what you're expecting um and when she came out she was fine they kind of like examined her she didn't need anything she was just small just extremely small just small and they kind of like that was like she, she came over she's like mom she's four pounds and i said okay is she okay and she was like yeah she's okay and then um uh it was like three NICU nurses in there and they was like well we're just gonna we're gonna go ahead and, and take her you know um and uh I didn't like that, but yeah, I guess, you know. <sighs> so, uh, yeah. So they took her or whatever, and um, but 
I just, I wish that because nothing was wrong with her, they did let her go to the room. And I felt like she would have gained weight and all of that. I felt like if I, but, but, oh, that's, that's the thing. I went, when I went into, um, they took her, when, when they took her, I went into, uh, recovery and usually you stay about two hours in recovery after a cesarean but because I had lost a lot of blood I ended up going to the ICU and I stayed for two days and you can see my baby for two days <sighs> that was tough that was tough so it's not really nothing nobody could have done any different. But my blood pressure was like extremely high. Um, but everything is better now. So hopefully I can just get her home. I'm not happy with her being in the NICU. I never dealt with um any of my babies being in the NICU. This is my second time giving birth. My first time dealing with the NICU. And they're, they're sweet. They they helpful. But I want my baby. I just feel like I carried her for nine months. And she's mine. Give her to me. I want my baby. And it is, it's not easy. Because I do have a two-year-old at home. You know, but he's he's with his dad, and he is, you know, his dad is like, he's been extremely helpful. Like, he's been at the NICU with her. Like, he'll go see her, and then I'll be like, well, I'll just come down there. So he'll go see her, and um, he be with Junior, and then he's he be with me the best he can. So he's just like all over the place, and then. All at the same time, we're moving. So he, like, I did pack a little bit before. Um, like, for like two weeks, I had been packing, like, just packing every room I could in the apartment. And, um, like, he had to move on his own. So, and I know that was very tiring to him. But, um, he's been such a big help. And we're extremely thankful for him. Um, I'll put some clips in. I should be able to better talk about it when I get home. I'm probably going to, um, I'm, I'm waiting to have the shift change. I'm going to, um, put on some clothes and probably go down to the NICU so I can see her. And, um, yeah. But I am, I, I'm smiling, but I'm telling y'all, like, I'm extremely hurt. Like, I, I want my baby with me. Like, I just, you know, I want my baby with me. Like, I don't, it's not, it's not easy, but I'm trying my best to do what I got to do for my kids. I got a two-year-old at home that hadn't seen me in a week. I got. Um, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got a three, four day old. I think she's four days. Actually, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. She's about three days old. She was born. Oh, <laughs> don't quote me on it. She was born Sunday, July 9th. But I'm at what time? Uh, okay, yeah, at two o'clock, at two seventeen p.m. Oh my God, that was so. <clears throat> like waiting on uh to have a cesarean, they don't really tell you the exact time that you're gonna go in for the surgery. So I was just very anticipated. I was very, like, I took a nap, but then I woke up crying. I was crying. I was bawling. And my nurse that came in, she was like, what's wrong? And I said, I don't want to do it. I'm scared. And I, I'm terrified. 
terrified. Even though I've done it before, the first time I did it was my first surgery emergency and you know, you, you have no pause for that. But second time around, you know what you're expecting, you know, you know, anything can happen. And I was scared and I didn't want to do it. And I cried, I cried, I cried. I think I calmed down more after I got my um, epidural. Once they put the the thing, they they put. I forgot what the what it was. It's something before the epidural that they gave me. And so, oh, so I think it's called a spinal tap or something. They gave me that, and then they gave me the epidural. So I kind of like felt a little better but before that like I I feel like things started like making me more sadder when I got to the part where I had to get the um oh uh, what's it called uh uh catheter and the first time I got a catheter um I had I had an upper duel so I didn't really feel it but this time baby Oh my God, I, I had got a uh, um, catheter before I got my, my spinal tap. So I felt it and it, did not, it was terrible. Um, but I felt a little better after I got um, my spinal tap and my epidural. Like it made, made me feel a little better. I didn't feel the um, feel like too much pain after that okay um and just like before it was a lot of help for people in the um in the surgery room like it was very very helpful i had an uh, overseeing doctor she was overseeing everything and everybody she even held my hands like when i was uh, getting the spinal tap because i don't do well with needles, um, she was very helpful. Anytime I felt pressure, like they, they were on it, like they were, I was all eyes and ears trying to figure out, like it, it's not pain, is it pressure, and give a little bit more, you know, um, of the epidural medication. So, you know, but yeah, so I just want to give my body time. Um, and I did, I think I gave my body a lot of time before my son was born. Um, I mean, after my son was born, my bad, because he'll be three in September. So I gave my body a lot of time, but, um, I'm talking about some real time now, like my kids in school time, like I kind of want to wait until, um, my kids, like, not just start school, but really be in school, in school. Like, I'm trying to have 10 and 12-year-olds before I decide to make make any decision like this again. Um, so I can prepare my body. And I really, I really want, want to be able to carry full term and not have to experience the, the NICU again. Now, the NICU is very helpful. They not, they not... It's not a bad experience. It's just, you know, not being able to have your baby makes you sad. It does. It makes you sad. There's nothing that can be done, but time, time heals all. So, you just got to give everything time. It's not forever. 